Hey guys, what's up? So if you have ever quote unquote messed up on your fitness program, whether it's training related or nutrition related, you're going to get some value from this video because I'm going to be giving you guys three tools that you can use. Um, not if, but when shit hits the fan in life, because we all know it's going to happen. Um, so three tools that you can use if you mess up that are going to help you stay on track or get immediately back on track and not let that one little mishap spiral your whole week out of control. Before we get into it, if I'm giving you kind of the same feedback every single week um, with your check-in in terms of what to work on, you are definitely going to want to pay close attention to these tools and really start utilizing them and putting them into action. Because if you keep playing the same week on repeat for the rest of your life, nothing is going to change. And by me just sitting here telling you guys the exact same thing to work on every single week that you still need to hit this, you still need to hit that, these are the areas that you need to improve every single week, I'm not really helping you. I'm just enabling you to continue to do the same things, to stay stuck in the same place. So here we go. Um, three tips on what to do, not if, but when shit hits the fan. So tip number one is we need to be proactive and not reactive. So how do we do this? Um, let's do it together right now. So literally take out your phone right now, open up your notes and write down the three biggest problem areas in your life. Those three things that you continually struggle with or the three things that when they come up, they always knock you off the wagon. They always send you for a loop. So get your phone out, put them in your notes right now. Three of your biggest obstacles, the biggest problem areas in your life. Um, so whether that's snacking or not having enough time, whatever that is for you, write those down and come up with two solutions for each of those problems. Two things you can do to make those situations easier, make it simpler, or two action plans you can have for when those situations arise. Write them down in your notes. If you can't think of two solutions, comment your problem or your obstacle in the comments and I will help you. And I'm sure that at least one or two other people in this group have that same struggle. I might even have that same struggle. So for me, like my biggest problem area, as all of you guys know, especially the people who know, who know me well, like is sleep. I don't sleep at night. Like I could stay up all night, every night. So, um, I've really, really been working on that. You guys don't want to hear about me, but like, that's my 100% biggest problem area. It affects my entire life, my relationships, my work. Um, and I've really been focusing on it and dialing it in and it's making a huge difference in my life, that one single area. So, um, yeah, so if, if snacking is your biggest problem area, that's a common one, like at night, oh, I just want to snack, I just want to snack. So we want to have like pre-portioned snacks, like put in Ziploc baggies. So when that snacking comes, we're like, oh, I know exactly what is in this bag. I'm going to have this instead of like, oh, I'm just going to go through the cupboard and have a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here and trigger those cravings and have no idea what portions we're eating, no idea what we're eating because we're just shoving it in our face while we're standing there. If um, you're problem is not having enough time. How are you going to prep your food? Are you going to meal prep? Are you going to wake up earlier? Are you going to cut out unnecessary things from your day? How often are you scrolling social media needlessly? How often are you watching TV? Like, are there things you can cut from your life? Are there things you could add to your life to make things more effective? Um, those are just a couple simple ideas. Tip number two, recognize that success and progress is the result of consistency. So if you have one healthy meal or you work out once, you're not gonna build the body of your dreams, you're not gonna be fit, you're not gonna be healthy. Just like if you have one shitty meal, it's not gonna crash your progress to the ground. But on the other end of that, if you are consistently messing up and if you are consistently under or over on your calories or your macros or adding in all these little extras to your meal plan or missing meals consistently, you will consistently lack results. I'm going to say that again. If you are messing up consistently, you will consistently be lacking results. Tip number three. This one might be a tough pill for some of you guys to swallow, but it's probably the most important tip. So every time that you do mess up, Thank that experience. Treat every mess up as a learning opportunity, um, as an opportunity to practice effectively getting back 
on track. If you mess up and you never effectively and immediately get back on track, you're never gonna get better at it. Practice is how you get better at things. So instead of saying like, oh shit, I ate that cookie, I screwed up, I might as well eat like shit for the rest of the week, replace that whole sentence with something like, I take responsibility for messing up my meal plan, um, but now I have the opportunity to immediately get back on track and keep pushing towards my goals. You need to learn to take control of your mental state because your mental state determines how you do absolutely everything and every action that you take. So to recap, the three tools and tips that you need to implement and practice immediately in order to know how to effectively get back on track. Um, tip number one, be proactive not reactive, so have your plan ready. Literally get it out right now, put it in your phone. Tip number two, success is the result of consistency. So the longer you stay off track, the farther away you're gonna be from your goals, the less you practice getting back on track, the harder it's going to be every single time. The more you practice it and the better you get at it, the easier it's going to become and eventually it will just become second nature. Tip number three, thank your obstacles. Thank that opportunity for existing and treat it as a learning opportunity and an opportunity to practice, an opportunity to get better. Um, practice these every single day, guys, because shit's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Life isn't fair, life happens, and I want you guys to stay on track. I want you guys to see that you can progress through anything. Your mind is so strong. Your body is even stronger. You just have to practice it. You have to hone it in. Um, Again, you have to work on these every single day because you never know when something's gonna happen. Life doesn't take days off, so neither should you. And I don't mean that in terms of like workouts. Of course, recovery is important, but your brain, your mind, never take a day off, never give in to your mind, okay? If you can change your mindset, you can change your life.